Here we are again for Summit, everybody, for the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Mark. Hey, how's your week going? Take a second. Close your eyes, unless you're listening to this while you're driving, which I hope you're not. How's your week going? Review the last six or seven days. How have you done in your spiritual life, your walk with the Lord? Maybe you are just crushing it right now. Maybe you're doing great. You and the Lord are tight. You're in a good spot. Maybe you've been struggling. Maybe you're like, I got to get to confession. This has not been going well. Maybe you're somewhere in between. I have no idea. But when you look at your week, I think we have to do that examination, not just every day, but one week at a time. Between every single Sunday Mass, you should be taking a look and going, okay, how have I done this week? How am I doing currently? What do I have to change? How can I do better before I come back around the table with my brothers and sisters again? This week's readings are a really important reminder that God is merciful. He is merciful. He, he understands that we're sinners. He understands we're going to choose ourselves. He understands we're going to fail. But we can't take advantage of his mercy. Never mistake mercy for weakness. That God's mercy does not make him weak. God's mercy shows that we're to be meek, right? But mercy, it takes a lot of strength. But we can't push it. We can't just assume that, you know what, like God's not paying attention and God doesn't care. Listen to what the first reading tells us. Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Now, the Lord speaks these words through Moses, but these words can echo from generation to generation. Be holy, for I, the Lord, am holy. God's saying, be like me, okay? You're not going to be perfect, okay? But, but you should strive to be like me. You strive for perfection, knowing you're not going to hit it, but be like me. Be holy. That's what God desires for you and God desires from you is your holiness, right? Why? St. Paul tells the people in the second reading who are in Corinth that you're a temple, that you're not just a person, that you, that you are a temple. Your body is a temple. Now, this really mattered because in Corinth, they had a lot of false temples to a lot of false gods. So the people in Corinth, they got the concept of a temple. It's this, this, this place over here where you go worship a false god and you do horrible things. And he says, no, 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 that's not a temple. You're a temple of the Holy Spirit inside of you. Right? What's a, what's a temple supposed to be? Set apart. What's a temple supposed to be? To, to lead people closer to the God of the temple, right? To, to, the, to, the, to the God of that, that created that temple, right? That they created the temple for. A temple is, is meant to direct our worship to God. So our bodies should be directing our worship to God. The ways we use our bodies, we should be directing people to God. We should use our bodies to worship God, to serve God. And in the way that we use our bodies, it should lead other people to God. Not to ourselves, not to our body, to God. To be what? To be holy. Right? So our temple, okay, you're a walking tabernacle. You're a walking temple. That's why when you see the Eucharist, you become a walking tabernacle. Meant to do what? Lead people to you? No. To the God who created you. And that's why the gospel is so important when Jesus says, listen, um, anybody can love their friends. What I tell you is this, love your enemies and pray for them. So now I'm going to ask you again, how's your week going? Have you loved your enemies well this week, whether in person, online, People you've had to deal with, friends, foes, strangers, maybe who weren't very kind to you, or maybe who could have been more patient with you. People who maybe you don't like or who don't like you for some reason. How well have you loved them this week? How often have you prayed for them this week? How's your week going? See, when we look at it through that lens, it really opens up our eyes, doesn't it? It puts a challenge ahead of us, puts a challenge before us. Anybody can love their friends. Anybody can love those who love you. It's how you love those who don't love you, who don't love you well, who don't love you in the moment. How you love them, that's what really makes it special. That's what really sets you apart. That's what makes you holy. Do you pray for your enemies? Do you pray for those who persecute you? My brothers and my sisters, <laughs> this is hard. This is hard stuff. And that's the reason that the church gives us these readings right before we start Lent, so we can be thinking, okay? Thinking right now. Lent doesn't just you know, start, quote unquote, on Ash Wednesday. Start preparing our minds and our hearts now. What do I need to change this season? What can I do differently this season? How can I really go after holiness now? That's the question. How's your week going?